Hello, I am Wingsong Halo, and um, today I will be reading a Pokemon fanfiction called A New Journey, Toolmon, which I know sounds like a Digimon story, but isn't. Okay, um, it's by Darth Rian. The summary is, young Darth Rian journeys with his half-Pokemon, Duelmon. Friends on a quest to become a legend and to stop evil doers. Chapter 1. The Beginning of Duelmon Introduction. It was 2016 in Zoran Village, a small town west of Pallet Town. Here lived a 13-year-old boy named Darth Rien. I'm going to say it like that every time. After losing to Ash in a battle between Superior and Ash's new friend, Zekrom, <laughs> Darth Rien planned on revenge. He used power from all of his Pokémon to turn his little brother, Owen, into a young Zoroa. Why? <laughs> but, like, if you're gonna, like, waste your little brother on a Pokémon, like, you could probably do better than Zoroa. But, anyway, that is neither here nor there. But Ash beat Dothrian again, forcing Owen to turn back into a human. How, I don't know. Becoming hopeless, Dorthrian gave up his dream of becoming a legend, ellipsis, period. Main story. I woke up in my upstairs bedroom, hearing my mother exercising with her Levani. Like, does that usually make a lot of noise? Never mind, I, I don't want to know. They were like absolute replicas of each other, just one human and one a Pokemon. My mom owned a clothing store, and Levani, of course, did the sewing. I, I hope... Lee Vanny is getting some of the profits then. That would be pretty unfair otherwise. <clears throat> they both loved sewing, but they trained and got in battles in any free time they had. After I ran down the stairs past my mom, I found my dad eating cereal from the same bowl as his pig night. I always thought his pig night, Snorlax, and Grimer to his semi-warehouse. What? Did I read that correctly? He always... He always brought his pig knight, Snorlax, and Grimer to his semi-warehouse. Sorry. And they always picked arguments with co-workers. That had a tendency to become raging Pokemon battles. Surprisingly, I was the least adventurous Pokemon trainer in my family. My sister was shopping with her Fennekin. Fennekin-wielding friends. Like, wielding? That makes me think of, like, wielding, like, like, like laser cats or something. Like, <clears throat> Uh, da, 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 da. which called themselves Friendikins. That's terrible. They should all be ashamed. You should be ashamed for writing that, that word. My little brother was out front with his little nine-year-old friends, so little, playing with their starter mudkips. My name is Parthrian, and I had a Zoroa, Superior, Shinx, and a Chespin at the time. After I got ready, I went to my school, which was a lot earlier than my older sister, Celia, and my little brother, Owen's schools. On the way to my Pokemon Trainer Academy, I met up with my friends, Exis and Braven. Why are all these names so terrible? By the way, if you hear barking, I'm sorry, my dog is insane. Exis, that's spelled E-X-I-S, by the way, was 11 and had a prize Totodile, Charmander, Tynamo, I, I never know. Is it Tinamo or Tynamo? I don't know. But I, I always name mine Dynamo because I, I love Electros. So I have an, uh, an Electros named Dynamo in like four or five of my games. Um. <laughs> and Axew. My same age friend, Braven. That's just so stupid. Is it like Raven but more special or like... <laughs> Uh, my same age friend Braven had a Fennekin, Sawaddle, Oshawott, and Raichu. We were allowed to keep our prize Pokemon out gladly, but only gladly. Like, if they were sad, then they couldn't have them out, I guess. So I kept out my Zorua, Exus kept out his Totodile, and Braven kept- <laughs> I'm sorry, Braven. And Braven kept out her Fennekin. My Zorua and her Fennekin tended to have crushes on each other. 
tended to have crushes on each on on each other like does that mean like they had multiple cru what does that even mean like yet yeah, i i should really just stop trying to figure out things in bad fan fiction so all three of our prize pokemon like to play together our first class was pokeology wouldn't that just be biology because this is the pokemon world but you know whatever or zoology i guess but Taught by, of course, and taught is spelled T-O-U, like tough plus a T at the end. Tuffed by, of course, Professor Oak. He pulled out photos of a Lucario. <laughs> when I first read that, I thought it's it, it said he pulled photos out of a Lucario, and I was about to be like, what? <laughs> anyway, okay, anyway um, hmm. and for some reason, an 11-year-old boy. Professor Oak, why do you have those photos? You're probably wondering why I have these photos. <laughs> well, at least he knows it's weird, Professor Oak began. You may have already heard, but my friend Professor Juniper was in the Verdian forest with her son, Cooper, when he suddenly ran off. He was gone for hours, but later Juniper saw a Lucario across a lake. This may sound normal, but the Lucario turned into Cooper and ran away. <laughs> Yet so normal. That happens, like, every Thursday. Meh, meh, meh. This all happened three weeks ago. Cooper still hasn't been found. This is the discovery of a new kind of being called the Duelmon. So basically, it's a Pokemorph. Or, like, you know, a human that can turn into a Pokemon. Well. Anyway. <clears throat> When class was dismissed, because I guess, like, nobody, like, cared about it any further, like, to discuss it, like, I don't know. Anyway. When class was dismissed, we went to a nearby park off the borders of the Viridian Forest. While we talked with each other, our Pokemon went into the woods 20 feet away. That's oddly specific. They didn't know that Cooper was watching them. I didn't either until you just, like, told me in the narration. <clears throat> After talking for a while, we went our separate ways, going back to our houses. I still didn't believe that my cousin Cooper was a dual mon. Yeah, I, I didn't either, because that's stupid. And I didn't want to accept that he was one. <laughs> well, I, I doubt it was something, like, you know, he chose to do, but anyway. Uh, da -da -da. Why could he be one, but not me? Oh, okay, it's not because he's prejudiced against them. It's because, like, he's jealous. Okay. I thought. I went up to my room later, which was more of a lab than a Pokemon trainer's room. Zorua jumped onto my bed and tore up a picture of Ash. That's rude. He didn't fight Ash with me, but I told him enough to make him hate Ash as much as he loved Braven's Fennekin. Braven. In the morning, we went back to the park. We still had two hours before the field trip, so we went to the park. It, yeah, I know, you said that. When I found Exis and Braven there, Braven looked very nervous, and she had a huge suitcase on her back. Is that where you usually carry suitcases? I, I, I didn't know. Covering her entire backside. Fen Fennekin! Her Fennekin yelled harshly to her. No! Braven returned quietly. I won't tell them! Plus what? Exes asked, slightly freaked out by Fennekin's chewing out. I, I guess it's chewing on her now. But I just wondered how Braven understood her. They kept arguing until Fennekin pulled off Braven's bag. Braven screamed, sat down, and frantically mounded dirt up underneath her. What does that mean? What's going on? I asked. Braven returned. From where? Where did she go? <laughs> All right, I'll show you. And got up. At first, I didn't notice anything until she turned around. She had a huge Brixen tail. Yeah, I kind of guessed that she was going to be associated with a Brixen because, like, her name is frickin' Braven. But, uh, it would have been cool if it was a Braviary instead. That would have been a nice, uh, unexpected twist. But, um, anyway, yeah, that was chapter one of, uh, A New Journey Duelmon. So, like, um... Yeah, thanks for listening, and I uh, hope to see you next time.